three. Hey, church family and friends here in Cortez in Montezuma County. I'm Pastor Bruce from Lighthouse Baptist Church in Cortez, Colorado. Wanted to give you a quick update about our response to the coronavirus and how we're moving forward as a church. Uh, this past week, I was very excited to hear the announcement from our president, Donald Trump, uh, declaring um, as the highest authority in, in our land, in our government, uh, that churches are essential. And he began to encourage churches all over our country uh, to begin their processes of reopening. Now, we've been working throughout this whole time with the leadership of our church and with our county and state leaders and health department at putting together a plan that will both protect the people who attend our services and our members and will also be effective. And I'm excited to be able to introduce this plan to you. We're posting this plan on our church's Facebook page and also on our church's website. Um, and so you could go and, and check out the plan there and see all the details of it there. Um, but boy, we are so excited to be able to announce that this Sunday, May 31st, we will officially be reopening our doors for public worship services together. And I couldn't be more happy. I couldn't be more excited to be able to do so this Sunday. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain to you some of the details of this uh, phase reopening because it's not gonna be back to normal. We're going to be reopening in such a way that we're still striving to protect each other in the best way that we know how and uh, doing everything we can to submit to the uh, civil ordinances and recommendations uh, that have been set forth uh, by our government leaders for our protection. And so a couple of details I wanna share with you. First off, um, the Sunday morning worship service, there'll be two different services. It's gonna be the same service, but there's two different ones you can attend. And that's in order to keep the number of people in the auditorium under or around 30%, which is about 100 people in our auditorium. And so we're gonna have a, the first service at 845. During that 845 service, we're recommending that our elderly and our immunocompromised individuals come to that service because it'll likely be a smaller service. I know what you're thinking because it's 8.45 in the morning on a Sunday. Um, but I do recommend that you do uh, come to that service if you feel comfortable coming, if you are in that category. And everyone else will encourage to come to the 10.45 service. Now, if you'd like to come to the 8.45 service and you're not immunocompromised or elderly, we're not saying you can't come, but we're, we're trying to reserve those places for those people who are in that state of life. And so we're excited to be able to, to reopen our services this Sunday. Um, we are trying to uh, keep our capacity here at about 30%, 100 people per service or less. And uh, so I, I want you to ask me in order to try to do that, to ask you to help me with something. Uh, actually, we're actually going to ask you to reserve your place for a service. So we're going to have three different services on Sunday. There'll be an 845 service and a 1045 service, which will be the same service, just two different ones. And then we'll have the 6 p.m. service in the evening. And we're asking that you register for all three of those services so that we'll be able to keep the right number of people in the auditorium appropriately spaced apart. And we're exercising every precaution that we can to make sure everyone's safe. So please, please help us by going and registering for the service. We're not going to turn anyone away that comes to the service, but you sure would help us out a lot if you would help us with doing that. Uh, let me just say, we're going to do all that we can. All of our ministry workers will be uh, exercising every precaution for you as you're coming, uh, wearing masks and making sure that you're protected as you come. As you can see in the auditorium, every, every other row is, is sectioned off with caution tape in order to make sure that people are socially distanced. And, of course, going to ask you to refrain from handshaking and hugging, which I know is going to be really hard for some of you, uh, just during this phase two process. We'll not be long in this process. We'll get through it together, but we want to make sure that we're protecting each other and doing everything the, the proper way uh, as we're beginning this process of regathering back together. Um, I will say if you are... Uh, if you are elderly or if you are immunocompromised, the recommendation is that you not come. Um, but if you feel comfortable coming and you like to do so, we're not going to turn anybody away from coming on Sunday. And so you come on if you, if you feel comfortable doing so. If you don't feel comfortable coming and you don't feel like it's time to come back yet, that doesn't make you um, inferior to anybody else that does come. You need to practice how the Holy Spirit leads your conscience and we'll still have all of our services live streamed. Um, and so you can feel free to tune in for there. I should say it's the 1045 service we'll be live streaming, not the 845 service. And we'll also live stream the 6 p.m. service in the evening. And so be sure to tune in there. 
There are, there's a lot more details to our plan. I encourage you to go read about them on the plan that we put on our website, the plan that we have put um, on our um, Facebook page as well. And you can get the rest of the details there. You know, uh, we have not allowed as a church family this crisis to divide us. Even as we've been separated to our homes and quarantined, we've not been divided. In fact, I believe we've grown stronger through this process. So let me implore you, especially for our church family, don't allow our regathering back together to divide us now either. <laughs> all of us have different preferences and convictions when it comes to all the things that are happening around us. But the predominant thing that should reign is a love for one another. And, uh, and so uh, don't don't get mad at each other through this process. If you feel like it's too soon for you to come, that's okay. Um, we still love you and we'll miss seeing you here, but you'll be back eventually. But for the time being, as we move through this process, let's do so wisely. Let's do so with a love towards one another. I'm excited to see many of you back this Sunday uh, in person for our, our reopening and excited to see things move forward in the days ahead. And so thank you for tuning in for just a couple of minutes here as we tried to give these details to you. And we'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless you.